In this video, see how the DevExpress ASP.NET MVC ribbon extension helps you introduce the look, feel, and behavior of a ribbon-based UI in your application. Here I have a project with an empty content area, created with the DevExpress ASP.NET project wizard. Let's return to Visual Studio. In this video, we'll implement a ribbon menu for navigation similar to the ribbon in Microsoft Word. In the index view, I add two using items and define a ribbon extension within the index view. Then I add a home tab and a clipboard subgroup, similar to Microsoft Word. Then I need to populate this group with items. First, I add a drop down button. I define its text, name, and size. This item is large. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. Now we have a ribbon with the Home tab, Clipboard group, and Paste item. Let's add an icon and an item to the drop-down menu of the Paste item. I'll return to Visual Studio. To add an icon to the item, I set its large image .icon ID property value. The IntelliSense allows me to quickly find the required icon by action name and the item size. Then I add a sub-item to the current drop-down item. And let's take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see that the drop-down item now displays an icon and a sub-item within the drop-down menu. In Microsoft Word's ribbon menu, you can see three small items, so let's add them to our ribbon extension as well. I'll add a new item to the clipboard group. I define the item's text, name, size, and icon. Then I add two other items, copy and clear, in the same way. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. All right, our MVC ribbon looks good. Let's define some actions when the ribbon items are clicked. I'll add a label that will display the name of the recently clicked ribbon item. So I define the label extension within the view and enable its client-side API. Within the ribbon settings, I define an event handler for the command executed client-side event. This event fires when an end user invokes any command by clicking the ribbon item. Then I'll add the event handler to the view. The event handler will set the label's text property to the name of the clicked item using the client side API. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. Now when I click ribbon items, the label displays the name of a clicked item. You can find the full list of the ribbon's client side API methods within our documentation. The DevExpress MVC ribbon extension can also retrieve its structure information from a data source. In this demo, I'll add a new ribbon to the view and bind it to an XML file using the bind to XML method. Here, I have the XML file that contains information about tabs, groups, items, and their sub-items. My project already contains the images specified within the XML file. In the view file, I pass the path to the XML file as a parameter to bind to XML method and enter the XPath expression to filter the data in my XML file. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. Here you can see the fully functional ribbon. All the items of this ribbon were retrieved from the data source. The ribbon items are represented by editor types, specified in the data source by the item type attribute. The DevExpress MVC ribbon extension also supports an adaptive layout. 
So if the ribbon doesn't have enough space to display all of its items, the large size items will be displayed in a small size and groups will be collapsed. The ribbon can therefore be used effectively when running on mobile device browsers. And that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.